Awesome. Thanks, Jason. And hello, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining the Web Center website platform demo. Um, again, as some of you may know, uh, my name is Mike Keenan. I'm a product specialist with Cell Support. Um, basically, today, you know, what I'd like to do is just kind of give you a brief tour of the platform and go through some of the features and benefits that make uh, web solutions by MA Web Centers the choice for businesses' web needs. Um, now, what I'm going to do here in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and show you my screen. But typically for a sales call, when I'm speaking to a potential website customer, what we'll always do is build value right out of the gate. So before even showing anything, uh, really what we'll do is, uh, you know, just kind of let them know a little bit more about the company and so forth. And, you know, as you may know, at Web Centers, we've been in business for over 25 years and we've hosted over 100,000 sites worldwide. And what separates our company from our average competitor whether it's a web development company or a hosting company or even an online marketing firm is typically the fact that we provide our customers with an all-inclusive type of service. So we don't, you know, we have all the tools and the features and everything that you'll need to, you know, really just not just have a web presence, but, you know, something that's going to give you a valued web presence uh, with coming with our solution. Um, so what we're going to do here, let me uh, show you my screen. Bear with me a second. Okay, and we should you should see my screen there. Just uh, Jason, you, you're viewing my screen. Yep, looks great. Okay, perfect. Now, initially, our customers, we give you a couple of options uh, out of the gate. Uh, basically, you know, they can either uh, use one of our already established, 100% fully customizable standard mobile responsive layouts as a starting point, and with the assistance of our unlimited 24/7 phone or live chat support, they can customize it to whatever look and feel that they want. Uh, the other option is would be to, to use our design center and we have different design center packages in which we can you know custom build a professional website to whatever look and feel that the customer wants so it really just all depends on you know if the client wants to be hands-on or hands-off but either way they have full control of the site and the unlimited support for as long as they're a customer um, now keep in mind you know all the customers they, they have different goals in sight for what they're looking to accomplish with their website and in sales support, we typically find out from them directly what they're looking to be able to accomplish. Obviously, for the purpose of today, I'm just going to kind of jump in and explain and show some of the tools and features that we provide. Um, now, what we're looking at here, let me just uh, refresh my page here real quick. Okay. So this is one of the pre-established mobile responsive designs. And as you could see, you know, even without a custom design package, we provide really dynamic and interactive features. Uh, like this particular one here, uh, it's a slideshow area widget where it basically takes up the entire top area of the site to ensure that the first thing that your client would see is a nice modern look and feel. Um, also, you'll see as we kind of scroll down here, there's an effects feature, which is nice because it allows for your images to be able to kind of fade into the page um, or your text to be able to scroll or bounce in as well. So again, it's, it gives you that nice updated dynamic look and feel. Um, with regards to the features, first thing I'm going to kind of run you through down here, um, you'll notice we set up just kind of a basic form for the, the demo. Uh, people can come in, obviously they fill out the fields, once they submit it you get an email with the information. So it's pretty standard on what you'll see on most websites. Now it ties into a few things that we provide on the back end. So first off we have a form builder which allows you the ability to create custom forms. So this is going to allow you to create different fields for your clients to be able to fill out. Uh, you could do drop down boxes or check mark boxes where people can choose from certain things. So you're able to create these forms from scratch. Also, we have what's called an appointment form widget built in as well, which is basically a custom form, but it has a little calendar off to the side where you're able to preset dates and times of availability. And then once someone chooses, let's say that particular date and time, it'll automatically block it from the site. So instead of having to, you know, let's say purchase a plugin or have to go through like a third party company to do the, the appointment scheduling for a customer, this feature is already built into the software. Um, and we'll get into more, you know, why widgets are important, why plugins are not good to be able to add to websites, you know, here as we kind of take you through. Now, what's also great about this is that anytime you have a form on the website with our platform, it's a lead generator. So once someone fills it out and submits it, it's automatically going to store this information within a customer manager that we have built in on the back end. So even if they're not a client, 
they just have a question about the service, whatever it might be, now they're potential clients because they've been added to the list. And the clients are able to manage those contacts. So first off, they're able to upload or import existing contacts that they may already have. And then they can also group the contacts. So with there, if you wanted to put, you know, potential clients in one group, existing clients in another, certain clients like these particular services, whatever it may be, you can manage all that stuff on the back end. Now, most important, what's attached to that customer manager, we have an email marketing tool which allows you the ability to be able to do blast emailing. So we have established uh, newsletter templates on the back end, and if you choose one of, or one of a few of our design center package, we'll even custom design a newsletter for you to where you're able to go in and you can edit the content. So you can easily add pictures, you can change the text. So if you're running a special, if you're selling a product, or if you have an upcoming event or whatever it may be, you can choose either the groups that you want it to go out to or the entirety of that customer manager, set your dates and times, and it automatically blasts out. So, you know, really important feature. It's a great selling tool because, as a lot of you probably know, there's third parties out there like Constant Contact, there's MailChimp, and, you know, they'll charge you different tiers of pricing for those types of services. But with us, again, it's kind of under that one roof of that all-inclusive package that we provide. So, again, just a few things, you know, and again, I like to kind of go through that right out of the gate with the clients because it really builds the value in the product before we've even shown them the back end. Um, what we've done here, um, I'm just going to click on this edit website tab. So, this is the back end, okay? This is where you'll have access to all the features that we provide, and it's also where you have control of the site. So, again, whether you're building it out off of one of the pre-established layouts or if you have our design center, once everything's designed, this is where you can make your changes. So I'll jump to that area over here. Um, you'll notice we input just a handful of basic pages for our demo today. Now keep in mind, first off, regardless of how you start off, we provide you with unlimited space for the website. Okay, So you're able to add as many pages to the website ongoing, um, and you can also add as much content to the website as you like. Uh, for the purpose of the demo today, I'm just going to click on this tab that says Home. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull up the same sample page we were looking at before, except the difference now is that it's going to be in a customizable format. So you'll be able to edit or change or whatever you'd like right from here. Um, and it's really straightforward stuff. I mean, the, the platform itself, it's all point and click. It's all drag and drop technology. Uh, there's no code or language that you need to know. But if you are tech savvy and you want to add a certain code to the website or anything along those lines, you have that flexibility to do so. Um, what you'll notice here, you'll see when I'm kind of moving my mouse around the page, it'll basically highlight different spots in different colors. So what we'll do here, if we want to edit this area right there, I'll just go ahead and click my mouse, and you'll see a really standard toolbar open up, and this is our text editor. So what this does, it allows you the ability just to kind of click wherever you want, and then you could just edit your text. Then like a Word document, as an example, you can edit that content. So if you wanted to change the fonts or maybe change the colors or if you want to set links to other websites, those are different things that you're able to do right from within here. Um, so we'll just kind of make a couple of uh, generic changes there. We'll click apply. And then now you'll see within a couple seconds the changes that I made occurred right there. So again, really straightforward stuff. Again, you know, you don't have, a, have to have a lot of time on your hands in order to be able to maintain the site. And what's great about this is that when you're editing the site on the back end, the general public, they'll see what you were, or see the site as it was before. And then all you'd have to do is come up here and click this publish button. And then within a couple seconds, the changes will occur in real time. So there's no under construction period. There's no waiting period. Your changes will occur when you want them to. And in fact, we even have a publish later feature, which basically, you know, let's say you're, you're going to be running a special, but it's going to start on Friday. But you want to go in today, you want to make those changes, you can choose the date and time that you want it to publish, and then without you even having to be in front of a computer, you could publish it from at that particular time. So again, real simple stuff. And what's great about our service, which again, separates us from the competition, is the support. Um, you know, again, the, the do-it-yourselfer websites out there, and even when you're working directly with like a web designer or a webmaster, it, they're not going to be there when you need them. 
So, you know, again, we're, we're obviously a U.S. based company. We work in different countries, but um, we have the call center here in Nevada where excluding like a major U.S. holiday, you can get on the phone or you could chat live with a representative. And what's great about what they do, they don't just tell you over the phone how to do it. They'll even do the screen sharing with you like I'm doing today. So it's kind of like you have somebody there with you, but you're not paying them per hour to do it for you. A um, couple of other things that we provide, you know, one of the things we try to do is we try to help drive traffic to the website overall with our customers. Um, obviously, you know, our system has been optimized to run faster to be able to meet with Google standards for mobile friendliness and uh, index ranking. So basically what it does, you know, it makes it perform better on indexing algorithms and be able to just see better rankings with the search engines. We have our own SEO tool that's built into the website. So what I'm gonna do is show you here under these page settings. Uh, this is where you can go in and you can optimize your site. So anyone that's unfamiliar with that is basically doing the things on the back end of the website that Google and the search engines are gonna look for to, to really increase your rankings in the long term organically. Um, as an example, within this area, you'll see page title. This is very important to Google. What they want to see is an individual title to each page of your website that's specific to what's on that particular page. And obviously you want to have in there what you're promoting. So you're going to have your business name in there. Uh, you'll have where you are geographically located. You want to have the name of the particular page that you're optimizing. And then maybe just a few keywords that are based on the information that's on that particular page. So again, you'll have different pages that you're doing this for. So if you have five pages, each title is going to be different for those five pages. Now, again, bear in mind, this is also something that support can walk you through how to do. So again, they're great for not just kind of showing you how to add your pictures and change your text. They'll walk you through any of the features that we provide with our service. Um, this area here for page keywords, Google doesn't care about that. Basically what they look for, uh, they're gonna look for the keywords to be in the content of your website. So it's very important to be able to write strong content that includes keywords and phrases based off of the products and services that you're promoting. So, you know, and these are also things, and, and we'll discuss in a little bit, we have digital marketing services that we provide as well, where if you have a particular customer that wants to be completely hands off with the SEO or content writing, or, you know, even doing some additional things through social media, we have a team of experts that can assist them and be able to literally do that for them after consulting with them. Um, wrapping up with this area, the page description is pretty straightforward. That's what people are going to see when they pull up or type in the keywords, let's say on Google, and they see the list of different websites that they can click on. So it's basically that little 25 word or less description, which is going to describe what they're about to click on. So I always tell customers it's a good, really, you know, a good time for you to be able to input something that may entice someone to click on your link as opposed to your competition. So, you know, but when it comes to SEO, really, again, as long as the website's performing properly, as long as it's mobile first, uh, you know, with the optimization aspect of it, once you do this SEO aspect and you save it, if it's done properly, which again, we walk you through, it, you're done. You know, people will pitch you on, hey, you have to pay a monthly fee for SEO or you have to do this or that, that's not necessarily the case when it comes to the organic aspect of it. Um, now, one thing that Google is going to look for to increase your rankings organically after the site's optimized with the tool I just showed you is what they call the user experience, excuse me, of people that visit the website. So basically, they don't care how many hits that you're going to get on your site. What they look at is how long people are on the website and if they navigate throughout your pages before they leave. So there's a bunch of things that can really help that user experience overall. Um, as I mentioned before, whether your clients are using the, the standard layouts and they're doing it themselves or they use our design center, all the sites that we set up are mobile responsive, so they re respond accordingly to mobile devices. Um, also, some of the features I showed you before, you know, as we were saying before, you know, this page area slideshow, you know, all those things capture people's attention to ensure that they're going to want to navigate and look through your site. A um, couple of other things that help with that are widgets. And we have a ton of different widgets that are built into the site. 
which eliminate you having to use plugins to do certain things. And widgets just interact with other sources, but really what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the website more so the centerpiece of the marketing. So, you know, typically a couple of things with that, again, I showed you the, the slideshow area. Um, there's also different photo galleries that you can add where you could do, um, you know, let's say one image slides to the next or it transitions to another one. We also have social media widgets. And these are great because once you're set up with your social media through the website, this interacts with the social media, but again, it keeps people on your site longer. So as an example, I'll just drag and drop a couple of these to show you. Um, this one here is a Facebook like button. So obviously what this is gonna do is it allows people the ability to like your Facebook page from your site without actually leaving the site. So again, it's helping in a sense to where you're getting more of a following through Facebook, but it's also appeasing Google because they're on your site longer. Um, and we have a couple different ones like with, with regards to like Twitter and Instagram, you can even do feeds. So, you know, let's say, you know, I happen to not be following you on Instagram or on Twitter, but I happen to be on your website. I can see what's been tweeted through your account or what you've added with regards to, let's say, a picture or uh, a video from your Instagram account right there on your site. And then also have the ability to follow you through that social media from here. So, you know, these are things that, again, it helps that overall user experience of the website to, again, help ensure that the customers are going to be able to have an organic ranking that they're happy with without having to pay to do like an ad or Google ad or something along those lines, which again, regarding digital marketing, we even do Google ads and Facebook ads and things along those lines for our customers as well. A um, couple of other ones. Let me get back there. You'll see here's the form widget. So that's where I was mentioning before, you're able to create the custom forms. You can create the, the widget for the appointment scheduling. We have calendar widgets. So if you wanna be able to, let's say, showcase different calendars of events within the website, uh, you can even do like recurring events, things along those lines. Uh, we also have, uh, let's skip a couple there. This is what I was saying before, this is a code widget. So essentially what this does, um, let's say you wanna embed something through a third party in the website where, let's say we're not hosting it, but your, people are able to see it through your site. This is where you could just drag and drop the, uh, the actual widget onto the page and then just be able to, let's say, copy and paste the source code. So, so again, it can be simple, it can be complicated, really all depends on what your client needs. Uh, E-commerce, we'll touch on that more in a moment. Basically what this widget does is it allows you the ability to showcase specific products anywhere on your website. Because obviously if you go to a site, you know, you click on the link, you're going to go to the product catalog and be able to view those pages to be able to see each individual product. This allows you the ability to, let's say you're, start, you're wanting to promote a handful of certain products. You can drag and drop that onto the page to where you can have the product, let's say, on your home page, and then just have the add to cart button right there. So, you know, it's things like that, you know, that, hey, this is a great product. People may just click on that add to, to cart without even having to go through your catalog at that point. Um, with regards to blogs, we have a couple of different blog, uh, blog widgets as well. So if you have a client that, let's say, is using a WordPress blog or Blogger or other companies as well, this allows them the ability to be able to, let's say, have their clients uh, view and contribute to the blog again, without having to leave the website. So again, back to that whole user experience aspect of it. This is a media widget. Now there's a couple of ways that you can get video onto your website. Uh, the one way is let's say, um, and actually, you know what, I'm gonna jump back here in a moment. Uh, there was one thing I skipped. Um, you can upload, if you have, let's say a picture or you have a video file, you can upload that from your computer. And we actually have a file manager that's built into the website which allows you the ability to be able to manage your content. So let's say you wanted to you know, upload pictures, you can put those in a certain folder, different things along those lines. And let me, uh, let me actually jump back and I'll, I'll get back to that other widget here in just a second. Uh, bear with me just a moment. Okay, so this part here with the images, really straightforward stuff. So after you upload your images to the site, this is again where you're able to set it up through your file manager. And basically you're gonna be able to see those images like you see these in the thumbnail format. 
At that point, it's a drag and drop. So I'm just going to use this picture here. What I'll do is I'll click it, drag it down, and you'll see here it highlights certain areas. So I'll just drop it right in there. And then now you'll see in real time the pictures on the page. So that's the way you'd be able to get a photo or a photo on the page as well as a video file. So with the video file, what happens is, let's say you have that stored on the computer. Once you upload it, our system automatically will set it as an MP4, which is universal. And then the same way you drag and drop the picture, you can drag and drop the video on the page. So that kind of goes with the whole point and click and drag and drop technology. Now, once it's on here, you can edit the image. So within here, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, you'll notice, I'll just go ahead and uh, click on the image. Okay, so basically you're able to, you know, let's say crop an image or resize it like you would with a Photoshop. You can change the orientation of it, brightness, different things along those lines to make the image look how you would want it within the actual site itself. Um, now, just getting back to where we were before, let's get back to the add to page. Okay, so the other way that you can get a video into the website is through the media widget. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that here real quick. So this is cool because what this does is after you drop this on the page, you just name the video, what do you want, whatever you want. And then let's say that you have that video stored on YouTube. What you can do is go to that YouTube page where it's hosted and then just copy and paste the actual address from the uh, address bar here right into this area and then once you apply it, that video will be embedded in the site. So it's still hosted through the third party, but people are able to actually view the video within your site. So again, it's not gonna take any space in, within your site because it's still hosted through YouTube. So that would be, again, utilizing it if you have it through the other source. Um, this particular one here, this shop.com, uh, if any of you obviously that are selling products through shop.com, this is a widget that allows you the ability to embed those products in the site. So you're able to set it up to where again, people can view the specifics of the product and then when they add it to cart, it'll take them to the portal to be able to continue with the purchase of that product. So, you know, these are things, you know, as I mentioned, again, the widgets eliminate setting up different plugins because once you start adding too many plugins to a website, it really makes it to where they start to not work properly with each other. So, you know, everything that you would need, it's built right here within the software itself. Um, so th those are some of the things I wanted to show you. And then a couple of other things. Let me, um, statistics. What's nice about this, and now we're not going to really see much here, but uh, this is our own statistical tracking feature. So what this will do, it'll monitor all of the traffic that you get within your site. So you'll be able to see how many hits you're getting. You'll see what pages people are viewing, um, how long people were on your website. And it even tells you which keywords, let's say, that they typed in to find you on the internet as well. So it really gives you a better understanding as to what's working and what's not. So if you happen to see something's off, you know, maybe you're not getting any hits on a certain page or you're not receiving any input through forms that you have on your site, just as an example, we always tell the clients, call us up. You know, get, a, get on the phone with a, a representative or chat live with us, and we'll kind of go through it with you to help ensure everything's working and help you make the tweaks, again, to make sure everything's working moving forward. So, you know, as I mentioned, you know, a few times through the call, obviously, you know, support is, is definitely going to be able to help you with anything that you need for the site. Um, this is the customer manager. This is basically what I was mentioning before, where you're able to set up all of your contacts. Um, obviously, for this particular demo, we don't have any contacts set up in here. But again, you can import your contacts. You can also export them. You can merge your contacts. So that way, you know, let's say um, by merging them, it'll help you kind of detail if you have multiple of, let's say, the same contact or whatever it might be. So it helps you clean it up. Uh, you can also manually add the contacts and so forth. So this is where you're able to do this. And then again, as I was mentioning before, when people are filling out the forms, you'll be able to view them in this customer manager as well. Um, and then the same type of aspect with regards to the email templates. Um, you know, this is where you can go in. We have the templates already established that you can go into and customize. If you choose one of our design center packages where we do the custom build, and if the ones that you chose includes the custom newsletter, this is where you'll be able to see it there as well. 
Uh, but again, the technology is essentially the same of what we were showing you before. You can go in, you can change your text. Um, if you've uploaded, you know, let's say images, you're able to add the images within here. So again, it gives you that professional newsletter aspect of it to be able to do the email marketing services. Um, also, uh, we'll go, get into the e-commerce here just a, a little bit. Um, with the e-commerce, everything's built in for it. So whether you want to accept payment for services, if you want to sell products, um, we have everything that you need. It comes with the catalog, you have the shopping cart, and you have the secured server. So the only thing that you'd have to be set up with would be, let's say, a merchant account in, in which you're going to be able to accept payment or credit card payment as a business, um, or maybe PayPal or other third parties. We have the area where you could just go in through the e-commerce to be able to input that information. Uh, what we're looking at here, this is basically the, um, the dashboard for the e-commerce. So it gives you nice quick stats. You could see how much money you're making from the website. You could see what the best selling products that you're uh, selling, most viewed products, some different things along those lines. Um, and then obviously, you know, this part of it's a little more complicated. There's a little more, you know, added to it. So I won't go through too much with you. But you can also come in here and you can add products. So if you wanted to, you know, let's say, um, add a particular product manually. You know, you're able to come in here. You just click on add product as an example. Um, and what's nice about this, you could do a couple things with the e-commerce. You could do a simple product, which would say, you know, if you're selling um, a particular, just like a type of product that you're going to ship, you could set it as a simple product. Um, you can also do virtual products. So as an example, maybe you have uh, you know, a service that you're providing, but you're not going to be shipping anything, but you want people to still add it to the cart and purchase it. That would be able to be where you'd set it as a virtual product. And you can even do downloadable products. You know, we have a lot of customers that you know, maybe sell, um, you know, let's say, a music or just a, let's say an e-book, you know, something that is needed to be downloaded. The e-commerce is set up to be able to do all of that within here. Um, and, you know, anyone that's doing it themselves, uh, we actually have it. Let's say they have a, a bunch of different products uh, with here. You're able to download um, our spreadsheet. It's basically a CSV file. So that's basically like an Excel sheet um, where they can input all the information about their products and then be able to just upload the products through the e-commerce. So and then there's everything built in for the reporting. You know, you could see, you know, shopping cart reporting, people that are abandoning carts. Um, you have all of your sales reporting. Um, again, a ton of different things that are built in. And, you know, any web center owners that, you know, let's say haven't done these sales calls before, you know, we encourage you, you know, let us kind of go through this stuff and you'll hear more. Um, you know, obviously with each prospect that you have um, and we'll kind of, you know, dictate the demo based off of what their goals are going to be. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, overall, you know, I guess for, you know, with regards to what we wanted to show you today, I think that covered um, everything that, that I could think of. This is normally where I'd ask if the client has any additional questions and we talk price and obviously I'd ask for the sale, but we'll skip that part of it for today. Um, as Jason mentioned earlier, if you folks have any questions or any comments or feedback, you know, feel free to send it to mawebcenters at marketamerica.com. And we'll be more, more than happy to assist that as well.